The first flying car you can buy has landed in the US. And by you, I of course mean the insanely rich. We've been telling you about the PAL V for a while now in What the Future, but the Dutch company behind it finally brought it to the US. PAL V stands for Pioneer Personal Air Landing Vehicle, and it's only fitting that a car that can literally fly over traffic made its American debut in a city with some of the worst gridlock in the country. The PAL V Liberty rolled out at the Paramount Miami World Center for the city's annual Art Week. They chose that particular building because it's one of the first in the world to build an actual skyport where a flying car could take off from and land. Now, this was a prototype model. It didn't actually do anything. It didn't fly, it didn't drive, but we have seen videos put out by the company of previous models that appear to show the vehicles flying. And what separates the PAL-V from other flying cars we've seen out there is you can actually order one of these right now. The company says it's already secured 70 pre-orders of its more premium Liberty model since they went on sale last year. The price tag for the Liberty, $600,000. Now, if that's out of your reach, opt for the sport version at 400,000. But let's be real, when it comes to flying cars, go big or go home. So what does that extra $200,000 get you for the limited edition Liberty? According to the PAL-V website, exclusive colors and customization options, premium Italian designed interiors, a gold plated certificate of authenticity so you can prove to your friends you're in this exclusive club as there will only be 90 pioneers and invitations to special PAL-V events. Now, despite its appearance, the PAL-V isn't just a helicopter with wheels. It's technically a gyrocopter. That means it can't take off vertically. It needs to get up to speed on the ground before getting airborne. And you do need a pilot's license to fly it. But one thing it does have going for it is size. In car mode, it fits in a standard parking spot and it runs on gasoline. Now, according to PAL-V, the vehicle has a top speed of about 112 miles per hour on land and in the air. Sitting on three wheels, it drives kind of like a motorcycle. When it's time to fly, those propellers come out and a free spinning rotor provides lift. Flight range is listed between 220 and 315 miles. Now let's be clear. Originally, the company said first deliveries would begin this year. That was then pushed back to 2020. And now the company's website says 2021. So what do you think? Will we be seeing these in the sky anytime soon? Let us know in the comments. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Andy Altman. See you in the future.